Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome back to a new update on XRP and Ripple. Uh, I haven't covered this in quite some time. I was on holiday last week and before that, uh, to be fair, I mean, I, I think I went on, on holiday like the like the, the 26th. And before that, we also did not get that much momentum. I mean, we, we, we had this little fake out right here uh, on Thursday. But apart from that, not that much to go off of. So now I just wanted to make a, a quick new video. In my eyes, or at least according to my research, I saw so, some news about the Ripple SEC uh, lawsuit, but not anything that I really thought was relevant for the price right now. Um, unfortunately, it, it looks pretty quiet, or at least it, it seems pretty quiet around the case. We're just waiting for that. Um, like I've always said, if more momentum kind of comes from the whole Ripple SEC case and we hear a little bit more news about that and more updates, like real updates from the, from the judge, then we will get bullish momentum. I think then, uh, like at the current price levels, we would easily be able to break above our main resistance at 50 cents uh, and then continue up to at least like 55 and probably all the way up to 60 cents. That's definitely possible and that's definitely what I expect. But at this point of time, it's not that relevant. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's what I think over, over the long term or just in general my feelings about the fundamentals. But now <clears throat> let's actually talk about the short term of XRP, what's kind of the, 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 the market situation right now, what can you expect, got quite a lot of bullish momentum yesterday, like we spiked up to our main resistance between 49 and a half cents, 50 cents, can we actually break above that, just in general my, my thoughts on, on the chart right now. Before we dive into that though, if you want to receive daily trading signals, like you can see at the top right there, uh, and receive updates, like everything is transparent. If stop loss hits, stop loss hits. I won't ever delete trading signals or anything uh, like some other signal groups do do. Um, but if you want those, if you want access to my trading guides and also an exclusive group of traders, check out those links. But for now, let's get into XRP. So what we're seeing with XRP, which I actually wanted to check out first, is uh, the volume. Like if we take a look at the volume over the last month, it's been pretty consistent. The volume right now is around 1 billion, which is pretty great. I mean, if you, if you, if you compare that with other cryptos like Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin right now are higher um, because they had a lot of volatility, but I expect those, especially Bitcoin Cash, to fall down below that. And then the volume is actually pretty, pretty high, which is a good thing. It's also a bit high right now because in the, like yesterday, we got quite a lot of volume because of this move, whereas uh, usually you don't get a lot of volume uh, in the weekends. But all right, doesn't matter. So overall, the, the, the market structure right now is, is pretty clear to me, right? Or at least not fully clear, but I do think uh, this is like it. I think the most, like, this is kind of the consolidation area we are in. Because I would say we are consolidating with a, a bullish cent, um, which sounds weird, but that's both because Bitcoin uh, is still very bullish. I mean, obviously, if you zoom out, and because of that, like th there's there's always in, in, in the clouds, there's that uh, case hanging around. So if we actually get more updates on that, that's always there. That could always provide bullish momentum. So that's why I think right now we are in this consolidation between 50 cents and ultimately 45 cents, which is still a great support level. And I do not anticipate that breaking anytime soon. We could get there. I don't see it breaking. Um, but we also have a bit of bullish momentum now uh, because of those bullish moves yesterday and that I still think Bitcoin can get more bullish momentum. Excuse me, I just touched my screen. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. So overall, I think actually for now we can stay in this upper part of the consolidation between 47 cents and 50 cents. And uh, do I think we can break out of that? Not necessarily now. Uh, I think at some point of time, like for example, if the FOMC minutes on Wednesday are bullish, like some sort of bullish cataclysm like that, or Bitcoin breaking above 31,000, something like that could push us above 50 cents. And then we can get up to 52 cents. That would be my first price target. So that's possible, uh, but only with a, a fundamental cataclysm like that. Otherwise, I would just expect us to consolidate for longer until one of those cataclysms comes around. That's my full take and my thoughts on XRP for now. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.